Hey everyone, this is Fareed, the creative director here at Enor, and today I'd like to show you how to add a module, how to edit a module, and how to delete a module in DNN. So, as I mentioned in um, previous videos, a module is just basically a function. Um, it is just kind of a, a box that you put in um, a, on the page or into a pane that does something. It can do anything. Um, Usually it's um, adding text, but you can have a module that that um, has a form. Um, you can have a module that's a calendar for your site. You can have modules that do um, pretty much whatever um, anyone can think of in program. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to the modules area on the um, on the control panel. You want to choose what type of module you're going to put in. Most of the time you'll be putting in text HTML modules, so we'll pick that. Um, here's where you specify the module title. We're going to call it Test Module 1. It's important to put the module title because this is what will show up when a, a user searches your site. The title will show up. If you leave it empty, then it's going to be empty or it'll have the default message, which is text slash HTML, and that can be very annoying for the user, so it's bad usability. You always want to name your module. You can choose um, a different visibility. You can either have it the same visibility as a page, which if the page is public, the module will be public, or if the page is private, the module will be private, or you can have it um, available to page editors only, which makes it private. So we're going to keep it the same as the page. <coughs> you can choose what pane you'd like to put it under. Um, a pane is just, again, simply an area of the page um, depending on how your page was skinned, um, your your page may have a different uh, number of panes. Um, in this case, this page has the banner pane, the left content pane, and the content pane. And again, that deter that's determined by the template that either you bought or you had skinned. Um, in this case, most of your um, content will be going into the content pane. So we're going to go ahead and choose the content pane. If you have multiple modules in the pane, you can either put it at the bottom or the top of those modules. So if I have three modules, it might put it at the bottom of those three modules. Um, we're going to choose bottom, but at this point, since there's no modules in there, it really doesn't matter. And you can choose the alignment. Um, you can choose to add a brand new module or an existing module. So if there's a module on another page, um, say you wanted uh, this little um, Google logo on another page, you can actually add that module. The only thing is it is not copying the module. Um, it is actually at making that module available on the page. So if you make changes, if you add it to this page and then you make changes on this page, it will be reflected on any other page that it's on. We're going to go ahead and add a new module. Then you click this green add button. And the module has been added to the content pane. You know it's been added to the content pane because every module has an arrow. Um, there are two main things that you want to um, you want to keep in mind when editing a module. You can edit the content, which in this case is text. Um, you can have you know there are a bunch of different options, um, but that depends on how the the module was set up. The next important thing is, is the settings of the module. So first, let's go through the content of the module. In this case, it's a text module, but again, it could be a form, it could be a calendar. In this case, we can um, edit the content. We'll go down, always click update. As you can see, we changed the content of the module, but now we want to edit, let's say, the settings. And the settings are, are, are exactly what it says. It's the configuration of the module. So again, you can choose, um, you can change the module title. You can change the permission of the module. In case you wanted the page say to be public and you wanted the module to be private, you can change the permission of the module itself. Um, in this case, it's, it's inheriting the view permissions of the page, which is public. But if we unclick that, you're able to um, have its own permissions. There are many other settings um, you can go through. Um, we'll be going through the important ones later. Um, for example, you can display the module on all pages in case, again, you had a logo or a menu or something that you wanted to, dis to display or a form that you wanted to display on all pages. Another important thing is a module container. Um, each module can have a different quote unquote skin or template or look, and this is where you would um, choose that. 
Um, and it, once again, there are um, several other options in the settings. You can, for example, move the module to a different page if you wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and click update. And I've actually hidden this module. So now, as you can see, it's visible by admin only, and we're in the back end so we can see it. So that's how you add and um, edit a module. How would you delete the module? Very simple. You'd go to the arrow of the module and you click delete. Are you sure you want to delete this module? Yes. And the module's gone. So that's how you add, edit, and delete a module in DNN. Thank you.